Hello, happy tips and tricks Tuesday. Jessica Chogriff with Coldwell Banker King Thompson. And if you saw my sneak peek earlier, you know what we're talking about today. Paint, I love it so much. Um, but I will tell you that I have my favorites and I stick to it. I'm a creature of habit, what can I say? But I just thought I would go over some things about paint that some people might not know. So let's first start with just the different sheens of paint. Um, starting with flat, if you have ever, if you have a new build or a builder, or if you have the builder grade paint, usually builders use flat paint in your house. Um, the reason why is if there are any imperfections or they have a blemish that hit the wall, maybe they were moving in, I don't know, a fixture or something and something needed to be fixed. Flat is great. It can hide, it's easily, if you have a touch up, it's easily concealed within the flat wall. Um, next level of sheenness, so like the shininess, right, is eggshell. Eggshell is my personal favorite, our personal favorite. It is life friendly. It is pet friendly. It is kid friendly. Um, it is magic eraser friendly, which really is our favorite. You don't want to scrub too, too hard because really magic eraser can get rid of all the things, even paint. But it is life friendly. Um, from there, then the next level is satin. Um, this is a, we don't use satin a lot because a lot of the houses that we redo have imperfections in the walls and it just shows those imperfections a little bit more. So we don't use satin. Um, but then from satin, the shinier version, I guess from satin is gloss and high gloss. I would never, ever, ever, ever use high gloss or gloss on walls. Um, that is really just kind of for trim and doors and that's it. Um, you'll actually notice that your trims, when it's clean, I'm looking at mine now, it's kind of stands out, it's got that gloss. It's because you're using a gloss or a high gloss. Um, and as far as brands, um, we like Glidden. I, my painters and my flip right now use Sherwin-Williams. Um, so it just kind of depends. I would definitely ask whoever is painting um, what pr paint they would prefer. Um, but like I said, if you're going to try and do something yourself, we love Glidden, we stand by it. Sponsor us, Glidden, big fan. So now let's move on to color. Um, I know it can be totally overwhelming going into a paint store and seeing all of the color options. I wouldn't blame you. I literally stick to the same color family and go throughout it. That's it, but we'll get to families in a second. What I would suggest when you're wanting to paint a space or redo a space or whatever your painting needs are, I would actually suggest Pinterest. Sorry husbands, I know I get in trouble for watching and looking at too much Pinterest because I want my husband to build all the things. I digress. But Pinterest is great because it kind of will help you create a vision board for what you want your overall look to be. Usually if you pin a few things you'll find yourself within the same family whether it's gray, taupe, cream, green, whatever, whatever your family is, blue, it's a great color family. Um, but then once you find your family, I would stick to that family. Now I know that we have kids that will want different colors of rooms and that's okay, but I would still stick to, to similar families. The reason why I say this is because if your living room is green, your kitchen is blue, your entryway is yellow, and your bathroom is red, when people come inside your house, it will look like you're traveling from a house to house to house within just your room to room to room. Um, you kind of want your house to flow and paint can help you do that. Um, I'm giving a lot of power to paint, but it really can. Um, paint can be can give people positive or negative vibes depending on the paint colors that were chosen. Um, like I said, I like the gray family. That's really in right now. I do like to, a nice thing within the gray family is like this grayish brown. Um, but if they all just kind of, I've got a couple samples here. This is like the cream family, cream white family. Um, but another thing about paint stores is everything can be color matched. If you walk into Sherwin-Williams, but your painter is going to go to Home Depot to buy Glidden. Again, Glidden. We're here for a sponsor. Just saying. Um, but 
they, it can all be color matched. I literally just ran into this problem at our flip that I wanted a magnolia color, but my painters were using Sherwin-Williams. You can Google it, or you can really just leave it up to the professionals. Um, go to your local Sherwin-Williams, Home Depot. I can't say enough about like Lowe's and Sherwin-Williams. Those really are in our places. Home Depot is our jam. We are always there. We know all the people because we live there. Um, but they're just great. They are so knowledgeable. So use your sales associate at your local store um, for their knowledge. They're they're really great. They're around paint all day, um, whether they're dealing with homeowners or contractors or things like that. Um, okay, two more tips. Number one, samples, samples, samples. It is easier to repaint and cover up a square versus repainting a whole entire room. Not only is it expensive, but it's a pain. And I don't know about you, but my husband will not repaint things if I hate them. I have to live with them. So just literally live with the samples on your wall and figure out what works best for you. But along with that, make sure you worry about what lighting you're gonna have on said room. If it's gonna be in a bathroom with no natural light, don't hold it up to the natural light in your window or look at it outside. Use those horrible incandescent lights in Lowe's. That might be able to help. Um, but then vice versa. If you are going to be putting a paint color in a room that gets tons of natural light, make sure you know what it looks like in natural light. Truly, there are some paints, I will warn you, cream is one of those colors, but gray's done it to me too. It looks totally different in natural light than it does in say a bathroom or a hallway, like a dark hallway. Um, so yeah, just make sure you pay attention to what light the room is going to be getting. And again, use your samples, they are great. But don't forget to really have a vision before you start. Use your sales associate. Um, it's a great DIY thing to really paint your own house or paint a room. Painter's tape is your friend. Um, but if that's not for you, that's fine. There's no shame in calling a professional. Again, they do this every day and heck, we use professionals for our paint and all of our stuff. So mainly because we hate painting, but <laughs> happy painting, happy tips and trends Tuesday. I will see you next week. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll be happy to answer. See you soon.